Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I had a question about my Print Pressions B6 rings. So I thought I'd pull it out and give you guys an update on what I'm doing with this, which is really, I'm pretty much not using it, but I still love it. I have the exact same setup I had when I initially purchased this and I just think it's really, really pretty, but I don't like the size not because the size doesn't work but just because I feel like lately I just need a lot of space and so I need to either have like the the A5 size or I need the Happy Planner classic size but I do love this because I do love rings and I love the flexibility of how you can pretty much make this your own so I still have these same dividers in here I made these myself I had a lot of fun being creative and then I still have these plastic dashboards from Foxy Fix and then I got these inserts in here from a Michaels personal size planner they're undated and then you have the month on two pages and then you have the week on two pages and you can see they're a little bit narrow narrower than the B6 size another dashboard I did put my daily tasks in here because I thought about doing using this ring planner as a kind of like a checkoff to-do list notes planner and I still might do that and then these are some Kiki K B6 inserts which I don't really love but I don't want to waste them so haven't decided what I'm going to do with those another dashboard I have lined paper those are also Kiki K inserts another dash or divider I should say and these are blank Kiki K B6 ring inserts uh, another divider and I don't have anything in these last three sections oh I do have some lined paper back here and then a uh, page lifter and a pocket which I don't think I have anything in and then I have this dashboard with just some a journaling card in there and then I have some stickers which I want to use up so I think that's why I have them thrown in here they're just kind of like you know half used sheets of stickers and then in this back pocket I have some sticky notes I have a cute little picture of my son and then more stickers back here which I think I'm kind of making a mess of and I didn't show the front pocket but I have some journaling cards here and then I also have a journaling card and some stickers here and so now that I have this out again I do feel like I want to you know use it like how I said as far as making it a kind of a checkoff planner where it's basically just kind of a running to-do list every day and then that way if I don't use it for a day or a week it's no big deal because it's undated and it's just kind of a a place to to keep a to-do list where I'm not worried about whether or not it's done on you know at a certain time or on a certain day and this is a picture I found because I did have a, a question about this picture for the dashboard. I found this on, I think it was just a Google search. And I just love the colors because I thought they went really well with my dividers and the silver um, print pression, <laughs> print pression ringed planner. So that is an update with this. You know, I'll keep you guys posted on how I use it. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be it's going to be anything major and I don't plan on making it like a a crucial part of my planner lineup. But since I have it and since I have, you know, all the tools to make it work, why not give it a try? And also it gives me another another chance to use up my stickers because I have so many as I'm sure we all do and it's a great way to kind of use use the stuff I already have without buying any more 
So that is it for this video. It's just a quick check-in. Like I said, I had a question about it. And I mean, it still looks in perfect new condition. And I absolutely love it. And again, it is a B6 rings from Print Press. It's either Print Pression or Print Pressions. But I will link the website down below. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I will check in with you again soon.